G'day, welcome back to the channel, but if it is your first time, welcome to the Pedal Picassos. I'm Rod, thanks for tuning in. Drop us a line, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you would. It helps the channel, helps us bring you things like this. A comparison between the Mosguy Audio Classic AC30 and the Joyo AC Tone. Both of these uh, takes on what might have been a Tech 21 Sans Amp circuit. And this one focuses on emulating a Vox AC30 amp and cabinet, meaning that you can use this as an ampless rig plug straight into your digital audio workstation or straight into the PA to gig. I've said before that uh, on my current duo solo board, I've got the Joyo American, which is a Fender emulation, um, same size as the Joyo AC tone here. And I use that as a fairly clean, transparent setup with some pedals going into it, direct into the PA. I did the Mosguy Audio f d which is the Fender application, Fender uh, emulation from Mosguy Audio, Mosky, Mosguy. Um, and I've done a separate video on the Mosguy AC30, classic here, the orange one. And now I'm just going to shoot them out against each other. Pedals off, Strat going straight into the, uh, straight into garage band. Dull lifeless, righto. Straight up, with, with controls almost on noon, I've just tweaked them a little bit. Um, you've got rock in a box, you've got a good rock tone. You get the picture, all right? It's not a martial tone, but it's good rock tone. Sweet, all right. Do you get the same out of the AC tone by Joyo? Oh, that's a resounding yes for me. Slightly different, slightly different gain structures. I've got a bit more drive happening on the uh, AC30, so I'll pump that up on the uh, on the Joyo. And for reference, I'll put the I'll put the knobs around about where they are for each. The same. That's the joy, eh? Very similar. Um, there's a slight nuance on my ears, but look, you've got m micro um, movement on each of the pots, giving you different values, even if they're the same value pots, so you're never going to be in that exact same situation. All right, cleaning them up. I'll clean up the... Uh, the AC30. I mentioned on the last video that with all of these pedals, the, the main um, difference uh, or changes in tone you can get are with the voice and the drive. Controls are exactly the same on each pedal. Across the top, you've got your EQ, low, mid, high, low, mid, high. Uh, and then down the bottom, level, voice, drive, level, voice, drive. Okay. Your voice is very interactive with drive. <laughs> You can get very clean. Okay, let's try that on the Joyo. Yeah, a resounding yes. Let's go to the other side of the coin and, and try and dial in a, a, a very uh, saturated tone or as much saturation you can get that's still, oh, to my ear, musical. The, the voice seems to um, 
be an overall tone tone shape. <laughs> And because you've got a lot of gain on the EQ controls, you pump them up, you get further drive. <laughs> All right, let's do the same with the the AC tone. AC tone. I noticed this on the uh, F dash der Mosky audio pedal, the purple one, that you seem to have a bit more um, overall gain in the circuit than than the Joyo equivalent. But you can still uh, you can still beef it up, that's for sure. Just listening to some of the noise come in. Now I've got some transformer noise. Even though I've got Gen 4 noiseless pickups here, I'm going to pick up everything that's in this room. About the same level of noise per each pedal for that level of gain. It is a lot of gain. <laughs> And look, I'm doing Marshall riffs with uh, AC tones, but it's real rock tone. For me, these are both great pedals. Uh, they offer a lot for the budget. Both you can get between $50 and $60. Um, I, as I said, I'm not gonna go into the ethics of uh, sweatshops and building pedals. Um, we just live in fabulous times that we have these at our disposal, yes. Um, I dig them both. I would absolutely use them both. Um, <laughs> and cascading, oh wow. See you next time.